What's up, man? Hello. What is up guys, my name is Mark Sedamaria. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RC Vlog. It's early guys, mega early. Me and Melissa spent over 10 hours on the road yesterday. Um, we did a few things. The main thing we did is we picked up an RC car lot, uh, but on the way I ended up dropping off an RC track that I borrowed to one of my good buddies down in San Antonio. Huge shout out to Jose, thanks for letting me borrow the track. Dude's like a brother to me, he's freaking awesome. But that's not what this video is about. It's about this car lot I bought. So after sleeping on it, I don't know if I got a great deal on it. I bought the car lot not because I wanted the cars or needed the cars. I mean, I wanted some of them. I thought some of them would be cool, but it had a lot of vintage stuff in there and it seemed like a whole bunch of good vintage stuff. I sent the pictures over to Doug. Uh, Doug advised what I should buy it for. I ended up getting it for that. But as I dig in, like we basically bought it sight unseen. We didn't see any of the cars other than pictures. Uh, but after getting it home and sleeping on it, I don't think I got ripped off by no means. I don't think that. I actually felt awful for the gentleman who was selling it to me because it was like I was buying his entire collection. He's actually a friend of mine and uh, it hurt because I know how much sentimental value some of those cars can bring and then you just get rid of them. It, it hurts real bad. So I could relate and I didn't want to just hit them over the head with a crazy low ball offer. So I gave him what I thought was fair. Now what I plan on doing with this lot is selling it. I don't plan on keeping all of it. I'll probably keep some of the stuff, but nonetheless, Doug is on his way over here right now. It's early in the morning. It is right at nine o'clock. I say it's early in the morning. I've been up since seven, but, and we're going to go through all the cars and see if we can put values to them. There's some crazy ones in here, guys. Crazy ones. All right, we got, look, he's even got his Tamiya shirt on. Doug, thank you for joining. Thanks for everything. Um, he's gonna kind of tell us what some of the stuff's worth. So let's go ahead and get started. He already kind of took a glance at him um, so we could know uh, what he's dealing with, but check this guy out. This is a... Gra uh, grasshopper, really? <laughs> <laughs> right off, off, off the a rough <laughs> start, huh? <laughs> Subaru Brat. Um, I believe this is an original because of the color of the plastics. Um, the Riri's are a little bit darker, and this is a, a lighter gray. Um, also the motor, this is a period correct motor, the black and Bell Johnson motor, um, which came in these. It doesn't have uh, the speed controller in it. Now, here's what's odd is it's a blue body, and I know that they made a Riri version that was a blue body, but the color of these plastics just look too light to me. Uh-oh. Ten. Well, oh. <laughs> what oh. <laughs> oh, to not be an original. Oh, to not be an original. Yeah, so that's that's just got me a little bit curious, but overall though, it's a good find. Very nice. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick glance. So I got a bunch of used stuff here, and then I have a whole bunch of new stuff also, but we're gonna try to go over them one at a time. Um, this one, oh, oh, this one's very, very cool. Stadium Blitzer, an original. Oh shoot, we should have pulled the body pins earlier. Oops, the magnetic mat so we don't lose them. Oh. RC. Look at that plug. Man, I'm a freaking professional, dude. If only I could think of this stuff. <laughs> Look at that ESC, guys. That's okay. insane. Yeah, and can I correct you on something? Yeah, go ahead. On that Traxxas oh, video. Yeah, that's right. I messed that up. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a, a resistor to help cooling down of the speed controller and the re why they're there is not for high speed because high speed it has a direct power link from the battery to the motor okay. so they don't get hot or anything but when you're running in the two because this is a three speed so it's going to go to the first speed well it's it's not putting in that full voltage so it has to, that heat has to go somewhere that energy oh, so it goes through the, it, and that's where they get hot oh interesting so and that's what burns up the most is because if you stay in the lower speeds um that's when they burn yeah. up but if you keep them full pinned all the time they're fine <laughs> <laughs> so that's what most people do but this is an original stadium blitzer um Oh, good. Yeah, it is all original. They didn't change it out because the chassis on the bottom will have uh, a recycle, uh, what do you call it, uh, molded in. Oh, really? Yeah. And so those are the re-re chassis are the newer um, re-releases have that, but this is an original Stadium Blitzer. Very, very nice. And so, I'll... so far, I'm, so far I'm doing good then. Yeah. The fact that we got the, because when I got these guys, I had no idea 
if I had an original or not. I don't want to ruin these bodies. I got to throw this back here. All right, next one. We're just going to go ahead and, and cut right to it. Check this thing out, guys. An RC-10. Okay. So the first thing I did when I got this is I looked to see if there was an A stamp. I couldn't see it, but you were I, explaining that it might not have an A stamp. Yeah, it might not. I don't know my RC-10s, I mean, even though I have an A stamp, but that's my extent of, but I believe this one's, uh, this one's not an early one because of the longer arms. I believe this is the two-time world champion one or? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is a later car. I believe this is a B stamp. Um, I can't see because the stamp is actually under the motor on the bottom of the plate, usually located about right in this area on the other side. Okay. Um, so, I mean, it's been used up, but it hasn't been drilled out. A lot of people like to drill holes in these chassis to lighten them up, which just kills the value, but it did lighten them up. Um, got a lot of toe. So you consider this like a true vintage? Yes. Like it might not be original, but it is a true Oh vintage. no, this is original. Oh, this is This original. is original, but later. Um, not the original early stuff because the early ones had really short arms on them uh, and everything. And they went to the longer arms for, for better uh, control and you know, rough stuff and, right. and stuff like that. And the shocks need to be rebuilt. Yeah. But yeah, and then this one's actually got the original motor still in here. And it's a neat little interesting part if I can get to it. Uh, how you'll pe hear people refer to uh, associated as Cadillacs or Edingers. Uh, Cadillac Avenue, that's what they refer to them as. It's, it's where they, uh, the associated was located at that time was on Cadillac Avenue. So that's why this one's called a Cadillac. And Interesting. The, and the Edingers are the early, early ones. And those are the highly sought after, people want those. And uh, why are there Legos? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that, was, that was like, it's like to, to mount the, it's like to keep from moving. I, I, oh, he used oh, them to mount Legos. the servo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, that's being creative. And then that's the original swiper speed controller. So that's how I determine if it's vintage, if there's a swiper speed controller. It's generally because people don't put in <laughs> right, uh, right. those speed controllers. They generally take them out. So this this one's a good one too. Yes, yes, definitely good. Very, one. very, very cool. Good little score. All right, moving on. Here is something that I think is really cool because it's nice and heavy, uh, but I don't know anything about it. Turbo Optima. Okay. We're well, just going to have a whole bunch of body clips over here. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> So, ooh, what what is that? Oh, that's your swiper that's speed. speed controller. Yep, that's a different version, Kyosho's version of the speed controller. Um, I have a couple of these new in package that I just bought for just because they were on eBay. Now, this motor is this a '85? Yes, it's the '85 uh, World Edition uh, Monster. It's got a little bit of rustage on the back. Though. Yeah, it probably. I bet you, it probably stored it like this. Oh, you're right. You're probably right. Uh, but yeah, I mean a good cleaning. I mean, this is a good solid car. Are there are there reries of the Optima yes. or all of them? Yes, you can buy this one as a reri. Um, and, and here's the one nice thing about the reri market versus uh, the vintage market, uh, the original market is people that collect originals will always go for originals. Um, so the reri market, yes, it put a little bit of a dent in the vintage market's pricing, but not that much because, like person like me, I hunt for originals. Yeah. So I disregard the the cheaper ones now i have a ton of riri stuff but my v, my everything's kind of changed and i've been going for original stuff now um so it's, but this 100 percent is an original yes okay yes sweet. that so that's for me guys like again i'm i'm on the edge on whether i did good on this buy it's very dependent on whether these are real originals or riri so right now we're doing good yeah right now we're <laughs> doing good you're giving me good news doug i appreciate it <laughs> all right let's move on to this guy okay so this one threw me off because I know they have a bunch of re of this. Yeah, and this one's got me kind of because uh, curious too. And because uh, the originals, I mean, the motor seems correct to me to be an original. Um, there is an electronic speed controller in there. I can see it mounted yes. right there. Yeah, right oh, next yeah. to the servo. I, I see it, yep. And then, but the one way to really tell on this thing are the uh, dog bones which I can't get to because the Riri's have like a standard dog bone that you're used to with the pin going through it, where these older ones had, it looked like a stop sign basically. And that was the end. Yeah. And they were known to strip out. Is that bumper by design yeah, supposed to be kind of loose uh, like that? No, it looks like oh, it's, no, it's broken right there. Okay, I see. Yeah. But I, uh, so like I said, I don't know my, my, uh, monster beetles. Well, monster beetles, but, uh, ORV chassis. Uh, that's what this is called. ORV, um, off-road mm -hmm. vehicle. Um, is what they named them, the Frog, the Subaru, the Monster Beetles, the Blackfoot. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing something. Or maybe I'm not. The Wild Willie? 
No, no. no. Uh, I think those are all the ones on this chassis. All right, the good thing is, is we got a whole bunch of mega experts on YouTube, so they'll be able to tell us right. <laughs> this is original. Um, my That's, guess is based on our history of the cars that we've gone over already, it's probably an original. That's what I'm guessing that too. Um, but could be wrong either way. Yeah. We'll see. All right. And we got a this one. I, this one caught my eye because the body's beautiful. I actually, I like the color. I like the, is, I, it, is that yellow or green? It looks kind of greenish to me. A lime green? Oh, look, wait. Did someone paint that guy like yeah. that? Yeah, yep. Oh my God, whoever did that did a, an amazing job. That's Doug, Doug level painting right there. It's actually, uh, your, your eyes are actually probably decent. better than that. Well, <laughs> eyes are tough. Eyes are one of the toughest things to do. All right, so I don't know much about this car, but I know that they have a Nova Fox and then they have yes. a Fox. Okay. The Nova Fox is the re-release of this one. Okay. Um, the Fox is actually an interesting car because this chassis, it's a one only chassis car. So this chassis was shared with nothing else. So the original Foxes do hold a little bit more value uh, because of that reason. And this is an original? This is an original. You can tell the resistors uh, for the speed controller. I'm Ooh, Double resistors? Yes. I'm nice. guessing there's gonna be an original speed controller under here just by these being there and the fact that they're wired up. So we can, we can kind of see, right? Or no, not uh, really. No, they're gotta take all the screws out to get gotcha. to it. Um, but, and the motor's period correct, the white end Bell Johnson. Um, so I'm getting. So that car okay. painted like that, or did, no, he, no. did he paint it? Like he that? painted it, but I'm not sure. This is an original. I mean, he's got paint, original paint stickers color. on it, but the body's thick, and the originals are like paper thin, almost like a lightweight body. Yeah, is what you think of because they went to the thicker ones. So I'm not sure on that one. Um, it feels a little thick to me, but it could be correct. Wow. Um, just, I, I just think this one looks really cool. I like it. <laughs> I definitely like it. All right. Oh, I didn't put that in the right pile. Okay, so <laughs> this one, I, when I saw it, I was like, okay, whoop de doo a Hornet. Now you told me that this is actually an original also. Yes, this is an original, and it's got a lot of motor in there. Um, That's good. <laughs> this isn't the stock motor? No. <laughs> no, it's got the, it looks like the 1985 World Championship. Oh, nice. Uh, is it 85 what's or 87? Oh, it's 87. That, that's a KO Propo. Wow, I didn't know they made speed controllers. <laughs> they still make radios. That, so that's not a that's not a mechanical speed controller. No, <laughs> no that's an electric one with mounted on wood. Now the Hornets at, uh, during that time, they didn't come with electronics in them or did they? No, no. no uh, uh, during okay. this, actually, to me, I didn't start doing electronics until I believe their Tamtech stuff. Um, late 80s, early 90s. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember any of the XBs or the XTs. Uh, XBs or XTRs um, being built at that time. I could be completely wrong, but he's got Rough Rider front tires on it and wheels. <laughs> These are the correct <laughs> rear tires and wheels. It's got foam and what got in there. So how can you tell that this is an original Hornet versus a Riri Hornet? Well, I look for, um, well, the telltale signs of the motors not being, just the age, smell, um, vintage stuff smells like old. Uh, it smells like an old attic. In fact, uh, Spencer Klein, when he came over to my house, he, he walked into my house and goes, yeah, this house smells like an old attic. <laughs> so now I have a bunch of air fresheners around there. <laughs> so, so you can just tell that that's, uh, yeah. that's original. This is original. Oh, and then the screws you were saying earlier. Oh, the, yeah, the vintage screws. They're definitely, you can tell, because they're a golden color, the, the gold zinc, or I forget what it's called, yellow zinc, uh -huh. that they're plated, they're, are yellow, where the newer ones are all the silver zinc. So I actually buy screw sets of vintage screws, I just find them on eBay and buy them because whenever I'm restoring, sometimes they won't have the correct screws in them. Oh, and really? And so, yeah, I just built a- Because a, the new ones are like a straight silver, silver. right? Yep, yeah. I'm building a buddy of mine's uh, Pajero, and I used about $40 worth of vintage screws because it didn't have all the vintage <laughs> screws in it for him. So, and that's Very a cool. 87 where that other car had the 1985. Yeah. This one's the 87 uh, Trinity horsepower motor. So that, that little motor's worth 40 50 bucks really yep just motor oh we got it we got another one i'm gonna go ahead and grab it so we can take okay. a look um this one you said is even more original than that yeah that one because it's got the original speed controller in it i can definitely see that right on top wow that's pretty cool that is the correct that's motor. a speed control no, sure. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. you're gonna get all those guys wrapped, <laughs> wired up but yeah the mechanical speed controller oh he's still got the battery plugged in he does <laughs> I'm pretty sure safe to say it's not gonna blow up. <laughs> All right, those are NICADs. That's a 
What kind of battery is that? That's something I haven't seen before. A NICAD. Well, it looks like, a, to me, a hump pack, but it's the wrong color. What is that guy? Oh. I've never even seen anything like that. Texan Precision Products. Very interesting. Oh, yeah, it looks like the Tamiya Hump Pack. Wrong color, <laughs> but hey. Um, aftermarket uh, CRP wheels, I believe that's who makes these. Um, and those wheels usually go for about 30 bucks a set, brand new. Um, so, I'm, so I'm doing good is what you're yeah, saying. Okay, yeah, okay. You, there's nothing bad here <laughs> at all. And I'm sorry, I'm probably dragging on this video. No, 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 no. I, uh, I love to hear the history of them because I want to learn more about them. And I just think that it's, you're like the, uh, you know, the guy on Pawn Stars, the Beard of Knowledge guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like that guy, the guy who knows everything about everything. And I, I appreciate that. I know a lot, a, l a lot of little things about everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving on. Let's, let's grab this guy. This one's pretty cool. Original Hot Shot. Now these ones do pull some money. Uh, not crazy money. Uh, it's got a technical motor in it. It looks like it's been through hell. The whole car looks like it's been yeah, through hell. Yeah, the whole car's been through hell. I mean, but that's what they were for. <laughs> they were to play with. Right. You know, I look at these things now and go, why did you play with that? But back in the day, that's what they were for. Right. <laughs> No, they had a they had a re-re of this one also. Correct? Yes, there's a re-re out, and this one's actually, to me, is very first racing four-wheel drive buggy. Um, oh, this one's four-wheel drive. Nice. This is four-wheel drive, and then and the really interesting thing about this is it has monoshock front and monoshock rear. Oh, that's that's true. The the shock is up top. Yeah, there. that's pretty. So cool. in, in all the mechanisms. What's what's what are these guys? Right those there? are the resistors. Dude, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they're really cool on this. Um, but yeah, the suspension you could just see how it works. Hold it a little kind of see how yeah. it works. There you go. Yeah, that's very cool. So I've it, never seen anything like no, that. No, it's it's and it almost works like a sway bar. Well, it kind of pulls it down. That's weird. Of, yeah, it's it's a really odd setup. Uh, just weird. to say it didn't last too long. <laughs> the, <laughs> the hot shot two <laughs> came with dual rear shocks. Very, very cool. <coughs> I, I just thought this one looked really, really cool in it. Yeah, I mean this one has history. All right, hot shot going up. Next one. We only have three more. Uh this guy. Now this one also threw me off because it has a modern day engine in it for sure. Yeah, a modern day race engine, which I know that this car didn't come with. Um, <laughs> the CV, that's a full on, it's, it's a race motor, but what's odd is somebody put, I've never seen the CVR, could be wrong. Um, I mean, I raced with the CV back when I did gas truck. In fact, there's one still in my gas truck. Is that the little exhaust pipe? Yeah, that's the exhaust. Oh. And check it out, it's belt driven. From oh, that's pretty cool. So. Yeah, the uh, I've got the car Rampage version of truck. this. I do have the car version of this. Really? Yeah, it's in a box about the same shape. <laughs> I forgot. I have. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> um, so when I looked it up, I looked up Rampage. Apparently, there's a newer a, a newer model. <laughs> okay. There's a newer model car out that's called a Kyosho Rampage. Yeah, that's the. So. It more looks like a Baja truck, if I remember correctly. Kind of looks like a UDR-ish. Yes. Type. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that one actually has the motor mounted on the axle. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a live axle, but the motor's mounted on the oh, axle. Oh, nice. So yeah. I guess this is one of the first ones. But this yeah. looks original, too, to you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I put money on it just by the electronics alone. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I totally forgot I have a... See, I forget some of the stuff I have. <laughs> <laughs> I say it all the time, and I haven't done it yet. We're eventually going to do a tour of Doug's place. Uh, okay, so this one... I thought this one was mega cool. I do too. Um, <laughs> I don't know anything about these. Um, last a, night when you- To me, a max climber. Yeah, and you told me about it last night. I looked it up and I was like, whoa, that's different. Um, oh, it's got about, is it plugged in like everything? Nope. No, not plugged <laughs> in. So it looks like it's got, not, that's not really a modern day. That's still pretty. No. Old. But that, this is all like a composite or metal or yeah. something. I mean, it looks like, especially, I bet you this was a, uh, ready to run maybe but it's very it's heavy it feels like it's very well built all the seats yeah maybe that's plastic that's, it's got cr01 axles um which is my big trail truck yeah <laughs> it's on this little thing uh, that thing's really cool i like it look at the articulation yeah that i mean and that was one of the pictures that they showed with it was the articulation yeah, that's insane for something that i bet i think this came out in the 90s uh, when I looked it up, I could be wrong again. I just took a quick glance. I got more mesmerized by the pictures and everything. But I think it's a pretty cool little truck. Yeah, that thing's awesome. Or baby monster truck. All right, and then I think this is the last one. Yeah, Madcap. But, but you like this one. I do. Uh, 
Hat cap, especially the bodies. Why'd they put the stickers on it? Oh, yeah. I'll never understand that. What, the clear? <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't paint it. Yeah. What color is this, the original supposed the to be? The mad cap's supposed to be white. I think clear's kind of cool, but I yeah. get it. you want to keep it original. Look yeah. at that. That ESC has a... Uh... Swiper. Yeah. Or a three like a mechanical. The early ones were called switches. It. Uh, most people just refer so to them as some fun on those yeah tires. these tires are done now the mad cap is an interesting car um because the mad cap and the saint dragon are the only two on this chassis and i don't remember which one's first i think the saint dragon came out first but they are uh right next to each other in the line of secession um what do you call it yeah but so this chassis is actually really hard to come by um one that i was actually looking at ebay I was going to bid on it um this weekend but now i'm not going to um <laughs> don't need to do that. no don't need to now um because i want one of these in my collection i also want a saint dragon they do make a re-release saint dragon but the odd thing about it is it's four-wheel drive where the original one was two-wheel drive because it shares the same chassis so interesting yeah and so, oh god so what were you like whenever you go rebuild them um you go out and just clean everything out and you try to restore the parts or do you just try to, to get new pieces? i try to clean i try to find new old stock Mm -hmm. um, which is tough to find and it's it, what's difficult to find is especially with the Riri stuff because you'll find something you'll find a parts tree that somebody's selling for 250 bucks they sell parts trees for 250 oh, bucks? 400 oh my god <laughs> um, for a little chrome parts tree that's half the size of your phone screen <laughs> we'll go for 400 dollars. are you serious i'm dead serious wow. <laughs> and uh, and i paid 200 dollars for a mirror for my bruiser for a mirror <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um what do you call it uh so you try to restore them as much as you can I, as much as i can about i don't I, and, for, and i used to be like i'll put some re-re parts on here and there and then i i met a uh, new friend of mine that's such an old school person that he's got my brain switching to where i i only do uh new old stock originally anyways but yeah so this is one that's been on my list for to get for sure um i would you need a wing for it the body set you could probably find a body set i bet for about 150 200 dollars it's very cool just for a body <laughs> that's insane all right so that's all actually you know what i get to be the specialist oh now. that's right <laughs> <laughs> we got look we got these two so this actually we'll go through this one this is a revo um this is a, <laughs> i feel i feel lame going <laughs> over a traxxas car after we go through all these vintage to me as but this is just a nitro revo but you can tell it's a, it's the older nitro revo because it's a shorter wheelbase this is probably a two five a 25R, but it has some nice little uh, cantilevers on there. It looks like some energy cantilevers, but this was in, oh, look at all this is aluminum also, which is nice, but this will be, um, you know, I'm probably just gonna either give this away or sell it really cheap as a project car. That's um, a hinge, but, pin, hinge pin bender. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, whenever you go metal like this, basically it bends everything but the uh, the metal. And then this guy, I you know what? I tried to figure out what this one was whenever I picked it up. I know this obviously it's a low C short course, but I don't think this is a 22. I think this is maybe one of the older, well, not a 22, but triple X SCT maybe? I think that I think you're right. Uh, Cause that's what was coming to my mind when I saw it. But this is an old, but look at this, this, I used to yeah. run these. Oh yeah, I did too, yeah. The, the Novak speed controls. Um, oh, look at old Mo Novak motor in there yeah, too. Yeah, old Novak wow. motor in it. There's under the, yeah, this looks like a triple X CR yeah. SCT or something yeah, like that. Yeah, cause I have a ton of these T plates. From back in the days racing yeah we used to break those yep. all the time <laughs> i would buy like five at a time <laughs> um but this doesn't this looks very rtr to me this front piece that doesn't it look does. right but um anyways we got these also um but these are all the used kits we have we have more kits inside we're gonna go over the new ones but we'll be able to go over those pretty quick because they're they're, yeah. they're brand new so very cool thank you doug for uh welcome giving us a, a heads up a 101 class on all these vintage to me is so I'm, i don't feel so bad now no. I, f I feel like no. I, I did decent. You did. <laughs> nice. All right. We're back inside. Uh, not back inside. We're inside. inside. <laughs> um, so I got a bunch of new kits. Uh, we're going to go through these really quick because these are basically re-releases. -re However, we're going to touch up on these really quick because these are originals, right? Yes. So this one? Uh, F-350, um, the three speeds, they, uh, the three speeds trucks are mainly known as your Blazing Blazer, your Bruiser, your Mountaineer, and your Hilux. But Tamiya afterwards came out with uh, three other three speed transmission trucks. And this is one of them, the F-350, they have one that's a Tundra, and then they have a Tacoma. I want the uh, Tundra one. The Tundra one looks nice. <laughs> it does. <laughs> um, it, they're all in the same chassis, just different bodies. Um, so, uh, and you can get these, 
still today. Um, they are pricey because it's a three-speed transmission. Mm -hmm. And so it, it shifts gears and everything like that. So you have to build a three-speed transmission uh, or does yes. it come already? In well, this one, because you said the yeah, gentleman he, already. He started building it a little bit. Um, um, but if it's anything like the trucks transmissions, because it has that look to it the, on the semis, Oh, yeah. Uh, it, the transmission looks the same. Um, it's just the motor's mounted here on the semi trucks and here this. So it's a beautiful truck. Yeah, it is. And very, very nice. So, but somebody did the one thing that nobody ever does is they don't touch the bodies. Most people touch the bodies. They, no, they don't because they're afraid to. The, the work that's involved. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where I stop on almost all my to be. <laughs> and that's where I make money buying them because people get that far and then they don't want to touch the body and they sell them really cheap. Fun fact <laughs> is Doug actually builds my bodies for me, hoping that I'm going to build the kits and I still haven't. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. All right, so that's that's a really cool one. Of uh, this one now, this, this you think is, this is probably the, the the grail of the lot? Yes, yes. This is an original uh, Blackfoot. Um, 1985, I think. How can you tell the original versus? Because we got, we have a uh, Riri. Okay, here, uh, let's just do it with the boxes. So you can tell. Oh, I guess I could tell on the box right away, and we'll put that one back. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah, you can. <laughs> yes, the Ford badging. Uh -huh. The grill's different. This has got the correct grill. This one got like oh, an aftermarket see, grill. There's no Ford badging here. Uh -huh. And also the stickers. See, see, like they have the rights for Bell Ray and all those back then. Mm -hmm. They don't now. So they don't have those where it says BF Goodrich here, Vice Crawler. You oh, know, very and, interesting. And so, oh, so the licensing on this, there's a lot of licensing. This, in this is guy. the licensing that's wow. on this one where this one doesn't have it. And on the tailgate also has Ford in, like you would normally see on a truck on the tailgate where this mm -hmm. one's just a blank tailgate. This one doesn't say Ford on it anywhere. So, oh, and then uh, the obvious, like whenever you put the box next to each other, like this one's a lot bigger and then you can tell there's some age. Yep. Now the, back then they didn't actually come with the, like the plastic around it, did they? Uh, actually uh, the plastic on it is a US and Europe thing. The mm -hmm. rest of the world, they come like this to where you can open them up because they did displays. I mean, you can see how everything's done like this and they want you to be able to look at them in uh, the stores mm -hmm. and see what you're buying. And so the very early Tamiya stuff had, I mean, they're beautiful, the layouts that they had. The so original, oh, when, when When you uh, came in, because Doug actually came and looked at the stuff before we started this video, we opened this box up and you freaked out. What was it that triggered the freak out? Well, it was just this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all new in general, because you got the Ford grill. This grill right here and this tailgate alone sell for about 150 bucks on eBay. Are you serious? Dead serious. <laughs> and then this is cool. This is a new one box. New, yeah. Um, mechanical ESC. Yep. This, this is what's called blister packs. And this is how they did it back in the day. Actually, if you open up these three, they're also all in blister packs. But you see the original motor, original swiper speed controller, or mechanical speed controller. And that's how they did this back I then. I thought that was easy. No, <laughs> That one's gonna stay forever. I know. That's gonna be a running <laughs> joke. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then Ford badging, I don't know if you can see it through here, but there's Ford on the grill or on the hood right here. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. You can't really see it on the camera, but you can definitely feel yeah. it. Yeah. So these bodies are worth more um, because the Riri doesn't have that. The body is technically the same, except it just doesn't have the badging on there. And uh, so yeah, this one's a definite. So I, I've seen I've seen one on eBay going for 800 grand. It hasn't yeah. sold yet, but you're, you suggest I hang on to this one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because this one's this one's only going to go up in value. Um, I don't see them bring. Now that you said the licensing, I kind of like it more now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> BM Goodrich. Yeah. And Bell Ray, that's pretty sick, yeah. dude. Oh. Okay. So we won't we won't mess that. All right. So yeah. we'll go through these really quick. These are all these are all Riri. So this is probably where. I mean, the valuable ones, the Sand Scorcher, these do yep. about, I mean, they retail for 400 bucks. These are all brand new in box. Um, I think this one retails for 350 ish I think they, I think you're right, yeah. Um, this guy you told me to hang on to. Yeah. Because. They're, they're uh, from, uh, from what I'm hearing is that they're supposed to be discontinued and I bought five of these. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got quite a few um, just for that reason. Um, I don't. Discontinued I've, being the chassis is going to be discontinued. Well, the, the whole kit. Uh -huh. And the chassis, because this is actually a hard body that's in here. Oh, really? Yes, it's a hard body with the TAO2 uh, short chassis. Um, so it's 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 kind of nice that they did that. The 037, that, what's interesting about this car is it won uh, its championship. I forget which year the 037 came out, the real one. Mm -hmm. It was a two-wheel drive car, and it beat 
Everything else in the field was four wheel drive. No way. Yes. Seriously. And it won. It won the championship. Could you imagine trying to race RC, a two wheel drive versus a whole bunch of four wheel drive? Yeah. So you would just get destroyed. <laughs> yeah, you'd be destroyed. But they did, uh, there's a whole uh, documentary on this car and it was because it was so light. Very cool. It didn't have all the weight. But all yeah. Right, so I'll, I'll keep that one too. Yeah. Um, okay, and then this, I don't know what this one is, but it's like a monster school it, bus it, 6 And this, these actually have a, an interesting following. A lot of guys like these uh, G6 uh, chassis with G6 the six, one. yeah, because that is six wheel drive. Oh, look, it, this is my style right here. Oh, it's painted, painted. Yeah, yeah, build it <laughs> <laughs> for you. Um, that thing right there, if you be to drive all these wheels, there's something like 20 something gears. Because oh, it's not yep, that's not, not shaft it. driven or <laughs> nothing. It's it's all gear driven through, and it's all gears going straight through the the chassis. Wow! All the way through it. Now, of course, we went over the re re Blackfoot. Yep. Monster Beetles. Now these are these. There's two black editions. This guy mm -hmm. apparently loved Monster Beetles. This is yep. a, this is not an original, but this is a re re Monster Beetle. Two. I'll probably keep a black edition because I'm a sucker for the yeah. limited edition stuff. I got a black edition. Now this is a this is a um, a candy green. Is it grasshopper? However, these are on mega sale right now. So, yeah, candy green. I'll put a link in the description below because I think they're like 97 and then with a coupon code, you get them for like 80 bucks. So, that's a cool car. I think I might want to build this one. These are the Grasshopper 2 Black Editions. I already have those, so I'm not... Oh, you do? I don't have any of the blacks on that. You don't have the black? Uh-uh. It's kind of a... Well, <laughs> I started buying the Black Editions just to have them yeah. kind of thing. No, no other reason. I've got the Monster Beetle Black. I've got the Big... Or the Claw Buster Black. Something tells me I'll be walking away with one of those black <laughs> today. Um, Farm Kings, these are interesting ones. This one and the uh, Raging Bull are two different comical versions of this. This is the same chassis as the Wild Whitley. Uh, no, no, this is a tool drive. I'm sorry. No, no, it is the same chassis. Jeez. Okay, get my stuff this together. Is the, it's the same as the Monster Beetle too, right? No. No. No, no. This okay. is this chassis and this chassis. You've already built this. I've built the Wild Willy too. Yep. Yeah. And they're the same chassis. Uh... So it's just a comical version uh, vehicle that they just made, and it's kind of interesting. Oh, this is a comical? Yeah, that's comical. It's a wheelie uh, vehicle. Oh, I see. So, uh, Mid Midnight Pumpkin. Yes, Midnight Pumpkin. Um, I think that one's a. Uh, this one. This one's oh, black, both black. Yeah, both black editions. I don't uh, know. I think they have a chrome one too. They do have chrome. Um, those ones. Uh, I don't come across those that often, and you don't see them all that often. I, don't, I might have a chrome one. Oh, do you? I don't know. I know maybe. I don't even know what I have anymore. And then, so look. I, okay, so when I saw this, I kind of like that paint scheme. Or oh, like, uh huh. So I guess you can just paint them this way. Yes, um, the body actually comes white. This is a hard body. That's oh, in really? here. Yes. So it comes white, and it's simple how to mask this stuff off. Is I'll just lay the sticker over it, not, not pulling the backing off. I'll actually tape the sticker, and I'll find out where my lines are that I need to block off. And then I'll take the sticker off and then I can mask to where I'll use my separation line in there. Jeez, that's hardcore. It, but it's actually, it's simple. Really? It's something that you don't think about. You're like, how am I going to make that perfect? I just think those, those color schemes look cool. Yeah. Oh, and they've got the, you can buy the sticker set for the ambulance from Cannonball Run. Oh, really? Yes. You can get the uh, mud, <laughs> some guys have mud, they've done the, done the mud mutts from Dumb yeah, and Dumber. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of guys that do the mystery machine, do, and they have all the stickers. People put them together so you can make this into... I think I have the black edition one. Do you? I think I do. Then you'll uh, want a uh, yeah, original I, one too. And then Wild Willie 2, I've already... Yeah. And that, this one just, every time I drive this thing, it just turns heads. People love this thing. And one thing that's really cool about this one is a lot of people don't realize that this is an original. This came out, I believe it was 99 or 2001. Um, and it was not a, a re -re. This is a completely different chassis, completely different body. The bodies are not interchangeable between this and the original. So these, when people think of the Wild Willy 2 as a Riri, it's not. This is an original and it's been in production since like 99 or 02 in constant oh, wow. production. So this one, it's a good one. So I, I probably won't keep this one because I have this, but man, that's a lot. So there's one There's one more, Doug saw oh, it, but this, he agreed. Oh yeah, oh, wait, that's right, we haven't seen, I was talking about the other hidden one that I haven't Oh done. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, wait, we haven't seen um, this. Yeah, this one, uh, this one I've got to check on at home. Um, I'm not sure if this was the early, earlier one, that it's the color of the stripes are different. I've got a body set at home um, for the early one. But I don't remember if it was white or black because um, I know that they did them both both ways. And uh, so I'll have to check at home to see what I have on this one. But type, type uh, E chassis, the 01, 
This is my favorite chassis for on-road racing on carpet. I was just about to say that because I have the TTO2 is what seems like people go to, but this is the one that's on the Euro truck, correct? TTO1E. Yes. yes. And I think the Euro truck actually doesn't handle it's, bad. This because this one has an upper deck plate where mm -hmm. the TTO2 does not have that. Stock ride height is three millimeters lower on this one than the TTO2, so you automatically have lower CG. Nice. And uh, also the 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 way the suspension works on it, the TTO2 likes to pitch dog bones like crazy. Oh, really? Where these ones, the way the arms are built, are a lot tougher and it can handle a lot more. And the bearing, or the steering, the bell cranks and everything are full bearings, where the TTO2 is just a screw through a piece of plastic. Uh, so it's a lot tighter. Um, and, and, the over, yeah, and the overall drive ratio is slightly different than the O2, so this car is technically just a smidge faster down the straightaway. So TTO1 over TTO2, you're, you're oh, going to pick carpet, TTO1 for, for carpet. carpet. For carpet. Uh, if I was doing asphalt outdoors, I go to an O2. I gotcha. Very cool. So, so what do you think overall? Oh yeah, I was gonna say is I, I left out one, um, yeah. but we're not gonna talk about it because it's, it's a surprise for you guys. Well, what do you think about that one that I left out? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're not we're not looking yeah. that way. We're not looking that. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's one that when you first showed me the pictures, I immediately went funk. I want that one, <laughs> but. Um, since it, you know, the guy contacted you, you get first right of refusal. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, it, make sure you like, subscribe, turn the notification bell because I will do an unboxing. It's absolutely amazing. And go check out his MSM page on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Doug. I appreciate it, bud. Um, well, but, somebody's got to pay, uh, plug that. <laughs> so what do you think? You think, do you think I did good? Yes, I do. Uh, okay. Sweet. I do. Um, and, Whew, and, you know, cause I was a little nervous at first. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess because I, I don't know anything about the used ones. I think that's what made me nervous, but you made me feel better about the used ones. Yeah. Well, that's a wrap, guys. I know this was a long video, but I love hearing Doug talk about RC cars. He's just a wealth of knowledge when it comes to vintage RCs. And the things that he knows is absolutely insane. Big shout out to Doug. Appreciate you hosting the show and tell. So if you're wondering what I'm going to do with all these RC cars, honestly, I, I have no clue. Like the opportunity came up. I picked them up. I'm not sure what we're going to do. But what I can tell you is that we're going to give some away. We're going to raffle some. There's going to be all different types of opportunities for you guys to get some. Because I have like four sand scorchers now. No reason to ever have four sand scorchers. But if you finish this video, I appreciate it. And comment below and smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Because if this video gets 3,000 likes, I will pick a comment to give this thing away. You got to be in the continental US to win this thing. But this is the Grasshopper 2 Black Edition. Smash the like button, turn on the notification bell, leave a comment, and make sure you follow my social medias because that's where I'm gonna be announcing a lot of the giveaways, raffles, things like that. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.